Hey guys, this is Eli with MyAirbags.com and right now we're removing the SRS unit out of this Honda Odyssey. Now the first thing you always want to do when you're working with the airbag system is to always disconnect the battery terminal from the battery. Anytime you're working on the airbags, the seatbelt pretensioners, or the airbag module, you always want to disconnect the battery first. On this car, however, the first thing I'm going to do is move both of these front seats back. That way we have a lot of room to work with here. For the battery terminal removal, you're going to need a socket wrench, preferably a little small one like this, and a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to need to access the negative side first, which is right in there. You can pop this panel up a little gently here. And you're gonna get right in there and start removing that bolt there. After we're done with the negative side, we're going to need to go to the positive side here. Make sure you do the positive terminal second. And then when you connect the battery again, do the positive side first and then move on to the negative side. We're gonna start by working on these panels here and the one underneath the dashboard here. And they're just little clips that hold it in. And you can see here, these are the clips that we're holding it in here. The next panel we're working on here is a side panel. Just go ahead and firmly pull it towards yourself. Next, you wanna go ahead and grab a little mini uh, pry bar and you're gonna work on this little tab right here. You're gonna wanna slide this little air vent out. It's connected down here as well. Just lift that up and slide it out. And then we have one more right behind it. We're gonna loosen it up. And we're gonna do the same thing here with this air vent here. I'm gonna lift that one up and just move this one out of the way. And it's actually connected on the driver's side. We're gonna go over there and do the same thing for this vent. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. Here on the driver's side, next to the gas, and brake pedals here. This panel, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this one. Just pull firmly onto yourself. And then right here, we have another air vent here that you can go ahead and loosen up using your little pry bar. And here we have the SRS unit here. Before we do anything with removing the plugs or removing the actual module itself, make sure that there's no power connected to the car. We don't want the module to be powered up while we're removing it or anything like that. If the module is powered up and it senses movement, it will think that the car is rolling over, so it will deploy airbags and pretensioners. 
Here on the passenger side, we have a knee airbag right there. So if you're working on that side of the car and you're, the car is powered up and you're removing the module, you don't want that airbag to deploy or any of the airbags to deploy, especially if you're working in that area. So we want to make sure that there's no power going to the car, the module is not powered up. You want to go ahead and start removing the plugs that go to the front there. And there's two of them that are clipped in. And right there you can see there's a little tab here that you push down on. And when you do that, this part here slides out and that removes the harness, the plug harness from the module. And you need to do that on this side as well as the other side. A helpful tool that I find that's useful to remove that little, little tab to push it down is any flat fine point metallic tool that can get right into this spot right here and push that little tab down and that will cause this lever to pull out and the little actual harness will exit out of the module. You want to do that here on this side. There's one plug here and there's another one on the passenger side. So here's a shot of the plugs here from the passenger side. You're going to want to get right in there with both hands and you want to use that tool that I showed you on the other side. I can't get a good shot of the plugs while I'm actually disconnecting it as this is a tight space. Uh, if you didn't do need more space, you could do some additional work here. You can lift up this piece here. This little plastic tab moves up. And you want to go ahead and start moving this panel here. There's a tab that goes right into here, right there. That white little tab there. There's one on the other side, so this pops right up. And there's two more at the bottom right there and when you're doing working on this panel here this plastic is a little more firm it's not as flexible so there's a good chance you could crack it somewhere along here if you're not careful and using all the force kind of right along this little tab area so if you do go that route be careful removing this panel and there's some other panels here that you can remove and you have a little bit more room to work with uh, if you do have smaller hands and some tools, you can get right to it here and you can move these little tubes to the side. To give you a better understanding of the plugs, I'm going to go ahead and edit in another vehicle that we just did out of a Honda with the same exact plugs, but it had a little bit more room so we were able to get the shot. I'm going to go ahead and edit that in and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the bolts here. So let's go ahead and push down and pull. Just like that, pull it all the way out. And as you pull the lever, the whole plug will come out as well. Here you can see it a little better. There's that button you wanna pull and then pull the lever simultaneously. Push down and pull. There you go. And we're gonna do the same thing on this one here. Press down on this tab and pull right out at the same time. As for the bolts, you can see there's two of them on this side, one in the front there and one in the back. And there's another one on the driver's side. So three total. You're going to need a socket wrench, smallest as you can possibly get as it's a tight space. And you're going to need a T30 bit. I'm using a T30 bit to go ahead and remove those bolts. Once you have the airbag module removed, if you need to send it in for a reset, you can go to our website, myairbags.com, and you can click on services at the top of the page. Along with the airbag module reset service, we offer a seatbelt pretensioner rebuild service, and you can actually remove those and ship them in to us as well. We do have removal videos on the seatbelt pretensioner. You can go to myairbags.com, select your year, make, and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out. Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, we'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. 
If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.